Hello, my name is Jason Olenketo from Oshkosh Corporation, and I'm here today to talk about the Oshkosh XF broom. Just want to give, give, you, give you a little highlight about what we're talking about today. We're going to cover some of the basic operations of this product. We're going to talk about the broom heads, different options available. We're going to talk about both cassette and wafer bristles. We're going to talk about pattern. We're going to give a little history lesson on what pattern actually means on our broom product. We're going to talk about operating scenarios and how best to use this product to your advantage. We're going to talk about some of the controls in our truck. One is pattern control. We've got a new system out there. We're calling it the window pattern. I think you're really going to like it. We're also going to talk about some of the advantages of ground speed control and also the weight transfer application on this product. We'll start off here on the front of the broom. This is the Oshkosh broom head. We happen to be looking at a set of cassette bristles here. Um, we offer broom product in 18 foot, 20 foot, and 22 foot configurations. We also have different options for these bristles. These happen to be the cassette bristles. One real advantage to the cassette bristles is all you have to do is remove this plate on the end and you can very quickly slide all these bristle packs off and replace them on the fly. A lot of people like that added advantage. The other option that we offer is called the wafer core. It's kind of a circular disc that goes all the way around. We have some airports that'll actually pre-stack cores ahead of a storm so they can quickly remove the entire core in and out for operations. Both sets of bristles have their place. They're both offered by Oshkosh Corporation. If we move further around the truck here, um, take a quick look at our hitch. This is an optional hitch for us. We call this our single point hitch. This hitch is available in both 35 degree and 45 degree configurations. And we can provide this with four casters on our broom head in all three sizes, 18, 20, and 22 foot. We also have a parallelogram hitch. Some of our customers prefer that. That hitch is available in 35 degrees. Up front here, you can see this truck is actually equipped with our optional quick disconnects. In the event that you want to be removing your broom more frequently, this is a good option for you to consider. Moving around the truck here, this is your standard H series cab. We've been in production with this for about 10 years now. Um, 27,000 pound front axle, 26,000 pound rear axle, your basic standard H configuration. If we move around the truck here, uh, these are our jet blowers. So we've got the jet blowers, one runs on each side of the truck. They're coordinated with the broom head. If you're brooming to the right, the jet blowers will broom to the right. If you swing the broom over, they will automatically switch to the opposing side. And they're also coordinated to move up and down whenever you're taking the hitch off the ground or putting it down. Moving further back, we do offer 250 gallons of fuel on this platform. Um, there's a tank on each side, also equipped for single side fill if you so choose. Our broom engines are available in the QSX for a tier four initial and we're moving into the QSG tier four final broom engine for our platforms. This engine is available from 350 up to 500 horsepower. That's dedicated to operating the broom head. In the back of the truck here, we have an ISX-12. This is a Cummins on-highway engine. It's 2013 emissions. It's gonna pass emissions control for any situation out there on highway or for airport usage. Moving around the, the back of the truck, this is the DEF tank. You've gotta fill this DEF tank. Your drive engine technology, the 2013 emissions, utilizes DEF fluid in order to meet the EPA's requests. This truck is equipped with one of our optional shore power heaters. This is on the back of the truck. You can plug in, keep the truck warm, keep everything heated up for you and prepared for operation. This truck has an optional tapered bumper on it. We also sell bumpers that are straight. Some of our configurations have ballast bumpers. Some of our configurations have a lighted straight bumper. Just one of the many different options you can get on the Oshkosh. If we look back here, this is the core emissions of our truck for the drive engine. So what we have here is we've got a DPF. So the engine comes out. This DPF requires regeneration from Cummins. Moves up through the exhaust, and this is the SCR. This is where the urea is injected to take care of the NOx emissions, one of the critical requirements 
of a 2013 emissions engine. On this particular truck, this is a tier four initial broom engine. It only has a DPF. Our upcoming QSG release will include a DPF and an SCR and will also require DEF fluid for that truck as well. Once again, back to the front, we've got our opposing jet blower. Like I said, these operate on both sides of the vehicle. This right here is kind of a nice feature. This is our deluge tank. We've got a 17 gallon reservoir here that will actually run jets. You can see one there at the top of the door. We'll run those jets all around the truck. Really useful on a brooming operation. There's a lot of dust, there's a lot of debris. This helps save the glass on your truck. You can really wash it off, clean it up nicely. Make sure that you're specifying the deluge option whenever you purchase a broom from Oshkosh. Uh, moving over here, talk about our broom controls a little bit. This right here is uh, where the magic happens for our broom. This is called a smart cylinder. And one of the things that we do is we actually use this cylinder. There's a sensor in here. It tells us exactly where that cylinder is at. So we've got a lot of pattern control adjustments. When you're out brooming on the runway, you want to set that pattern appropriately. A lot of times your maintenance staff may do that. Depending on the airport, the operators may get involved as well. But this sensor can control movements within 20 thousandths of an inch. Um, also to set pattern, inside the truck we've got a joystick, we have controls, we'll get later, we'll talk about that. Right here, this allows you to do it from the ground. So if you're a mechanic or an operator, you're trying to work on this truck, this switch here will raise and lower your broom head. This switch here will operate that smart cylinder in 20 thousandths increments in order for you to precisely set the pattern that you want to achieve. One of the things that we want to talk about today are some of the snow conditions that we recommend operating the Oshkosh XF broom in. Um, a lot of times the broom is one of the most critical pieces on the runway. The broom is out there after the plows go through to get the runway down, to get that runway clean, and get that tractive effort available for the airplanes to land. A lot of times the broom is the last line of defense, it's the last vehicle that operates. In many conditions, if you just get a real light snowfall, I mean, we're talking probably between zero and three inches, a lot of times it also depends on the type of snow. You don't even need to bring the plow out to the runway. The Oshkosh broom is capable of moving that snow all by itself and prepping that pavement the best way possible. A couple of things that we do want to talk about today though are the pattern. Now if you look at this broom, this broom is a circle. So when we talk about pattern, that circle goes down and it touches the ground and it, it leaves a strike pattern. So let's picture this blue line here. That would be an example of a pattern. Oshkosh recommends about a two to four inch pattern for optimum conditions. A lot of times, depending on the snow, things may change. You may need to increase a little or decrease a little. That's what the controls in this truck are meant to do for you. Um, talking about bristles, we talked already that we offer both cassette and we offer wafer. Um, another element that we need to talk about is something called ground speed control. And what ground speed control is a really nice feature. We've got settings in the cab. We actually have five different settings for it. In setting one, the broom is going to be running at a lower base speed. In setting five, that's going to be your maximum speed setting. But what ground speed control does is as you drive the truck faster, this broom is going to actually speed up because our main goal is to try to optimize the number of bristle strikes per linear foot traveled as you're driving. Speaking of back to the bristles again, on a cassette style design, you've only got 28 rows of bristles. So you do have some advantages for taking the bristles on and, and, and putting new ones back on, taking them off, whatever. Um, but we recommend usually to run a little bit higher speeds in ground speed. I would say probably start out at ground speed three or ground speed four if you're using cassettes. For the wafer design, it's a continuous bristle all the way around. There's actually more bristle there. So in the case of ground speed control, we're gonna recommend that you probably start in ground speed two or ground speed three to best optimize that for your performance. Um, one other thing I can say about ground speed control 
is not only does it match speed based on how fast you drive, it will also increase the speed as your core gets smaller. Um, if the core is smaller, you're going to need to spin it faster once again to achieve that strikes per linear foot traveled. That's already built in to our ground speed control. I want to talk about weight transfer on the Oshkosh XF broom. Um, if you look at these cylinders on the front of the truck right here, these cylinders are actually supporting part of the weight of the broom head during operation. Um, one of the reasons we do this, number one, is we have pneumatic casters on this head. The fact that those cylinders are carrying some of the weight, this is a, over a 10,000 pound broom head. That helps maintain the life of these wheels and tires during operation. The way the system works is we actually have a pressure transducer that's tied in to the base of this cylinder. We've, through testing, we've specified precise values. So whenever you're operating this truck, if you're driving over three miles an hour, weight transfer is gonna automatically activate. We're gonna hold a portion of the weight of this head with those cylinders. It does a couple things for you. Number one, it makes brooming operation a little smoother. Um, if you're going through undulations on the runway, this system is gonna actually react like an active suspension and keep things smoothed out. The other thing that it does is by taking some of the weight off the broom head, we're actually adding weight to the front axle of the truck. That's gonna improve your controllability, it's gonna allow you to steer better, and it's gonna allow you to have better traction and better tractive effort moving forward during the brooming operations.